This is Julian. I'm at the Migo conference, and uh, we're gonna see how Migo runs from the USB stick on the Lenovo IdeaPad. So here we go. We're gonna open the lid. The device itself is pretty cool. Um, it's the build quality seems quite nice. USB is in there, and we fire up the machine. So this is the first boot of the device uh, from scratch, from a USB stick. Knowing that there is already Windows in the machine, but to straight away we get to uh, the Welcome to Migo screen, where we have the possibility to either run live on the USB stick or install the um, system on the uh, on the machine. So the machine has 250 gigs. Uh, we're not going to be do doing dual booting. It's only going to be a um, single boot. So we're going to get rid of Windows 7 that is on it. So as you can see, we only had um, just a tiny bit of a uh, of Linux text shell, and uh, we're now straight into the uh, the UI. Um, obviously, because this is a touch screen, we can pretty much move forward. And on the bottom right corner, there is the first step. Yeah, it might take a bit of time. Here we go. So it went English, then the storage drive, and we select we select the uh, everything, the right hard drive. So there are a couple of options. I guess the. Uh, Remove it's if you select the um, it's not remove Linux partition it's the next one. If it, now if you get if you select in the list. Um, resize remove all partitions select drives and create default layout. Right changes to disk. So because there is no hard drive space left um, on the partitions, because uh, the whole machine is taken, then you pretty much have to wipe everything, which is not the default setting, um, which I believe is a, a, a right thing to do, because the default setting of wiping out everything would most likely impact consumers. Um, so the um, partitioning was done quite fast. Um, now the uh, image is being copied to the hard drive. and we're gonna have the next couple of steps. Here we go. Copy has been done, it's doing the post installation, changes. I do hope, here we go, installation is complete. You can click the close button and then unplug the removal disk to reboot to the install system. So the, the whole installation process, so now you can remove the USB stick. The whole installation process took altogether about six minutes. And we boot in Migo. This is the first boot fresh from the installation, so there might be some setting up to do, let's see. From my experience, the uh, OS is quite easy to set up. Um, a lot of it is around where you live, um, how things go. So we've got the welcome screen, the keyboard. So the gentleman choose finish. You can most likely zoom using the multi-touch. No. 
Helsinki. Time zone. Just have to find Europe. Indiana. These are all American cities. Date and time. We're the 16th, but it's not really 18. I'm not going to film the password. And that's it. You know, we're getting in the UI. So in less than 10 minutes, We've got a system that uh, seems to be up and running. Which is pretty fast, quite snappy. With all the tabs. It takes less than 10 minutes to set up Amigo installation. And then there might be a couple of things to add there. Um, there's compliance with uh, some of the Google apps, uh, the calendar, Gmail, and, and so forth. It's pretty amazing how fast it installs and how less uh, in user input it really needs. So let's see what it does um, in more details when uh, I get to play with my own machine. See ya.